And she's back again. And it's still Saturday. So I'm going to start with um, making some brownies. And this is very simple. It's going to be very, very simple. But I haven't made anything that has to do with baking or cooking in a very long time. So in the RV, I have an oven. And, and then I have a stove top. So the oven requires the propane and I don't want to use my propane because the propane also is used to heat my water. So <clears throat> I uh, use it for heating the water. That way I can wa wash my dishes in hot water. So let me turn you guys this way. Let me go down here. So I have, I'm going to make this. So usually whenever I'm, whenever I'm making this stuff, I'm going to be using my air fryer, the little green thing back there. Um, so it takes longer for, it takes longer for the things to cook or whatever you want to call it. This thing. No, I can't move it that way, so I'll move it this way. Okay. So, um, yeah. So what I do is I make this <clears throat> while I put all the ingredients together. And then I have, instead of making a giant one, because I have a very small refrigerator, like uh, I, I think it would be a 9x9, nine nine, I'm going to say. That's what it was. I don't keep any large I don't keep any large things around any longer because I just don't have room to store them so a lot everything that I've got is small so I'm going to make this we'll make 3 of these so we'll come down here and then you'll just hear me I got my Mikey Mikey on and I listened to the other video that I just did and it's pretty good crystal clear so in order for them to come out of the glass um fairly well unbroken undamaged or whatever um i put butter in and i know that to some people this is probably not butter <laughs> but um for me it's what i use uh so you just put all this stuff in there, all the way around the whole thing. So apparently these dishes are supposed to be automatically nonstick. But when I first cooked something and baked something inside of there, they stick. They were sticking. So whenever I do this, before I put my brownie mix in, they don't seem to stick. So, yeah. So, I've had these brownie this brownie mix is the Ghirardelli double cho double chocolate. I've had it before and uh or I've made it a couple different times. It's so good. So yummy. So very yummy. So yeah, uh, I don't have any walnuts. I guess I could, put, I should, could put walnuts in it, but I don't have any walnuts. So I just make it regular. So let's go ahead and. Sometimes I substitute the. Um, I think we can do it this time. What is it? Yeah, I can use. Um, I use applesauce. To substitute for the oil. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and put that in here. You know, they say that you have to be precise whenever you're baking. I bake for myself. So nobody else eats the stuff that I cook. 
So it's that's nice because I can barb. Oh, did I? So I added the applesauce. Sorry, I thought the recorder had stopped recording. So I put stuff like this um, in my baked goods. I like to experiment. I don't like to always be precise. Um, when you're using like the leavening stuff, like the baking soda and the baking powder and stuff like that, that can make a difference in your recipe. So that's something that you do have to stick with the measurements because that's not, it's not adjustable. It's science. So, um, but yeah, I like to experiment when I'm cooking. I like to experiment whenever I'm baking. And then I need water. Water, where's my measuring cup? Where's my measuring cup? Oh. Measuring cup and egg. I got heck of um, hummingbirds outside the t today at the feeders. There's there's heck of them out there. There's like six or seven of them that are around in the neighborhood. So that's one egg, so let's see. And I don't ever, unless it requires, unless it says that I have to do it by a mixer, I usually just mix by hand. Mm -hmm. And if it's not wet enough, then I'll just add more liquid because I'm not I'm not adding any oil to it. But yeah, so I haven't been I've been busy all day today so far, and then later on after this video, I'm gonna get uh all the stuff together and do I don't know whether I want to do the fashion show. First, or I think that might be too wet. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. That's okay. Um, yeah, I don't know whether I want to do the fashion show first, or whether I want to do the the quesadillas first. I need to eat, so I'll probably do that first. So this is double chocolate, and it has chocolate chips inside of it. Stop it all the way. You can see. Go back. Be better. Okay. And then I just fill them equally. I've made this like. I want to say like two or three times already in these little pans. The cool thing about it is I get to lick the bowl. <laughs> I get to eat the brownies and I get to lick the bowl. These would taste really good if you added some walnuts to them. I like doing stuff like that. I like taking a regular recipe or regular bread mix like a honey bread mix and then add in more honey to it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to pause this just for a second. Okay. 
So now I have this air fryer. It's called Kusori. And I have a little um, silicone thing inside there. And then put this. It fits, it fits exactly into that space. So I was doing these on bake. Uh, bake? No. Bake for... Bake at 325, 335, and then we'll bake for 30 minutes, and then hit start. And I'm going to pause until we get them done. So I moved my mic because it kept flopping around on my shirt. So it's done. Oh. I have to put the other ones in and then later on today I'll late probably tomorrow. Well, I need a rest. I've been going since really early this early this morning. So I but I don't want to be lazy. Okay. So maybe later tonight. Or tomorrow, I'll make another video of the uh, refried bean, bean spicy quesadilla. I like it because you really don't have to cook anything. You can put the cheese on it and then like the grated cheese, you can put it on there. And the beans and all the other stuff, you can put it on and prepare it ahead of time. And then if you want it warm, you can warm it later. So. I'll see you guys later.